calorie free. I can't do anything for him. What's over here? Hook. Oh. That opens the door. More rope. Think we could share that dragon eye? Shweki, Alpha Mata. My thoughts exactly. So that's what the skeleton was. Had a feeling. Done. I am done. This is not for me. Going somewhere? Yes, I'm going home, where I belong. I was promised wonder and adventure and fantastical floating islands. And what I got was a Daventry that will never live up to what it once was. Daventry needs you, Graham. I know it's not what you expected, but give it time. 
We can work through the kinks together. It can be great once again with the right people in charge. I'm not that person. And you should stop believing in me. It could get you killed. Fine. Leave. Be a dentist for all I care. I guess the Chaka was wrong. What? What? Eh, nothing. It was nice meeting you, Graham. Spill it. Well, Achaka and I were chatting during your chivalry test, and he had some thoughts about you. Didn't you find it odd that Achaka entered this tournament, Graham? Did he ever tell you why? Well, he might have. But I only learned two words of his language. A horrendous famine struck Achaka's village, Ichtuwe. He left his suffering family to enter this tournament. He hoped to seek an audience with the king to plead for help. It was a long shot, even for him. Oh, great. So because of me, a whole village will starve. That makes me feel better. No. Because of you, a village will be saved. Achaka was impressed by you. He told me he was watching you on your travels to Daventry, and that you seemed like the type of person that could inspire change. More so than those bucket heads, anyways. I... I... Uh... I if you're not gonna compete for yourself or me, do it for the Ichtuans! They need you! You're their last hope. For those brave souls that are still with us, welcome back. Now, you may have heard some squawking from a few naysayers in our kingdom concerned with the ethics of the tournament. <laughs> but proclamations and addendums aside, this is the way we have always done it in Daventry, and this is the way we will continue to do it. Now, Knight Hopefuls, if you would be so kind as to present your eyes. Oh, hold still. <laughs> a lot of eyes. Where are those eyes from? I'd look happier if that was my eye. I'd look less happy if that was my face. Look who's talking. Yes, look who is talking. Congratulations, everybody. We officially accept all the eyes presented. I'll see you in the duels. Take that and that! Oh, Mr. Springbottom. What? You're surprised I'm competing in this stuffed animal tournament? I will make some stories of my own. <laughs> I'll pick up where my last book left off. It was called 31 Ways to Slay a Monster. Yeah! That's what you get, Mr. Springbottom. Hi-ya! Gwendolyn! I'm sorry, Grandma. Oh, I'll take care of it, dear. I came to tell you your grandfather is ready for you. Run along, go have some adventures. Just try to have your next adventure away from my glass vases, please. Now it's time for my favorite part of the tournament, the duels. <laughs> you will compete against each other in a duel of strength and a duel of speed with the winners facing off in a championship duel of wits. The pairings of knights were selected at random, so no complaining. I'm looking at you, Whisper. Any ties will be settled in mm. sudden death. The winner, of course, will gain the knight position. The duel of strength will take place at our fantastical and wondrous floating island. And bring your steed to the tournament theater for the duel of speed. Please unveil the tournament board. I will remain here for any questions. Good luck! Alright, let's take a look around and see what we have to do. What's this? No one should notice one bell missing. Well, I didn't notice. <laughs> Which did you tackle first? The duel of speed or the duel of strength? Hmm.
guess I can't choose yet. Oh. What did I pick up? Por Portrait of Whisper. I wonder if that will come in handy later on. What was King Edward like? Uh, a generous man. Without him, you and I would not be sitting here. He trusted me with his final request, knowing that no adventure was too daunting for the feather in my cap. I still can't believe you ever weren't king. All right, maybe we can talk to this guy. Speak. Where exactly is the Duel of Strength? The Duel of Strength will take place on Daventry's own fantastical, wondrous floating island. Head north, then east. You can't miss it. What do I need for the Duel of Speed? Bring your trusted steed to the tournament theater when you're ready for the Duel of Speed. You do have a trusted steed, don't you? Bye. Toodles. So I can't do speed yet without a horse. Okay, let's see what we got. Hmm. I better stand on this side of the rock. Hmm. It wouldn't budge. the trap. Meat, huh? Let's see what this Fantastical is. floating island. Only steps away. It's so floaty. You'll be amazed. Hmm. Almost there. World's greatest and only floating island. Don't turn right. No floating islands that way. Starberries framed a serene view. Shame about that buzzing beehive, though. Hmm. My love, you're my everything. I might not have enough money for a ring yet, but I just can't wait any longer. Will you be mine forever? I better put this back. Someone had set the scene for a lovely evening. Mm. Bees! I ruled the bees' day and <laughs> that lovely meal. I tucked the berries away for later, even though I was craving a cliffside snack. Uh. All right. So floating islands that way. Then what's up here? Oh, 
this animal. Moving any further in the dark seemed like a bad idea. Definitely a bad idea for right now. Let's see what I can do about his pig. Not pig, but whatever it is. I would need that. I'd always been a straight shooter, but a chakra opened my eyes. All right, that one wasn't that bad. Well, thank you. X, X. How did you take out all those goblins? With swiftness or patience. You'll have to wait and see. died so I guess I got to kill them well all those so goblins with trying to hit a or patience you'll have to wait and see trying to hit something that not there Ah, didn't make it in time. 
Here we go again. How did you take out all those goblins? With swiftness or patience. You'll have to wait and see. Save me! Oh, nice shot! <laughs> Time for you rocks to roll! Boy! That is your name, right? Boy, thank the shining <laughs> stars! Where did you learn to shoot like that? Now, I'm not a native goblin tongue, but I'm pretty sure I made out the words unicorns and majestic museum. Mr. Fancy Cakes is too barbarous for a caged life. Listen, I want to sincerely apologize for my pilfering sausages, and thank you for saving me. I have been through too much already today. I forgive you, and I just want to say... Uh, yeah, 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 that's sweet boy, real nice here. And since we are all square, I have a favor to ask of you. Can you deliver this rare and miraculous ingredient to that amateur magic shop in town? It's a snoozing leaf. Be careful transporting it, though. Once Mr. Fancy Cakes ate one of these snoozing leaves and was knocked out cold for days. And as a token of my appreciation, here is your money back. There you go. I'd give you more, but those hoarding goblins looted my cart. Well, gotta run. Good thing these shorts breathe so well. Thanks again, boy. I won't forget this. Sudanararia! Did the merchant remember that? Ha, <laughs> the merchant immediately forgot that. Oh, great. I could fit more stuff in my magical cape, which I thought I couldn't. All right. Let's take a quick look around. Only one guy did. Not too bad. All right. Not too bad if I say so myself. This was on my bucket list. Oh, the most for floating island. We used okay. all the rats, so figure it out. Oh, it's that punk again. <laughs> <laughs> 